One of the turning points in World War II was when the Doolittle Raiders bombed Tokyo. The courageous and the dangerous mission happened after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. The last surviving Doolittle pilot made a special trip to Granite Falls yesterday. Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole is now 100 years old. John Lordson shows us why he was in Minnesota and he, what he wants this generation to remember. Packed on the after deck of the Hornet are 16 B-25 Mitchell bombers. Historians know the impact the Tokyo Raid had. Only Colonel Doolittle knew that Japan was to be their target. They also know the courage it took. The men involved, including Jimmy Doolittle's co-pilot, Dick Cole, were all volunteers. He said uh, he wanted a of volunteers for a dangerous mission. Dangerous and top secret. Cole remembers first hearing the details while on the USS Hornet. PA system came on and said, this force is bound for Tokyo. Yeah. And there was a lot of jubilation right off the bat. He admits being scared. And after bombing Tokyo, the B-25s only had enough gas to get to China. Cole had to parachute 9,000 feet into the dark of night to survive. The Chinese didn't have the lights turned on the runway so they could land because they thought they were Japanese. Ron and Diane Fagan are keeping stories like this alive at the Fagan Fighters World War II Museum. It's an honor and a privilege to be part of this, and we're just excited every day. They have preserved priceless World War II history, and a part of the museum is dedicated to the Tokyo Raid. As the last living Doolittle fighter, Cole honored the Fagans with a Congressional Gold Medal in front of more than 800 people, many of them veterans. Cole says the medal is about dedication and morale, something his fighters helped raise during a crucial moment in history. We did that. I felt pretty good about it. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Colonel Cole continued to serve with the Air Force after the raid. He flew more than 100 missions during the war. The crowd at the museum in Granite Falls was nearly twice as large as what they had expected.